Hey friends, I'm going to share with you the way I like to make tuna salad. I have a few little tips and tricks and special ingredients that really make tuna salad appealing to some people who think they may not like it. Okay, I want to start with the tuna. I typically make four cans of this size tuna, the standard size, and one of my tricks with this is I use two solid white albacore packed in water. So you're gonna have the bigger solid white chunks and they're packed in water. And then I use two packed in oil. This is yellow fin, but this is packed in oil. And I'm gonna tell you why I do that. If I used all four that were packed in oil, I feel like it would be greasy, but olive oil adds flavor. So you're going to get the flavor if you use two cans that has been packed in oil and then the packed in water tuna is going to balance out and add some dryness that will offset the oiliness of the other. Okay, so I want to show you here is what the combination looks like. You have some whiter and you have a little bit that's darker and you have some with water, some with oil. Okay, my next trick is lemon pepper. I truly believe that either fresh lemon juice or lemon pepper is a game changer as far as tuna goes. So I use this Penzi's pepper and I season the meat before I do anything else. So I'm going to sprinkle the lemon pepper and I'm very liberal with it. So we've got that because I believe that you season along the way and it adds more layers of flavor and seasoning. And I always add more at the end, but you want to get your meat just like you like it. So that way you don't just pile on the seasonings at the end. Okay, so now that we have the meat, I'm going to show you how I do the eggs. I always use this handy dandy little egg slicer and it's so easy. Okay, so you just lay it in like that. That way, pick it up, turn it on its side, and go that way. Okay, it's, I mix all the yolk and the whites, and then I season, okay? So, there we go. Then I toss it to mix in the seasoning, and then I'm just going to put it on top of the tuna, okay? Now, I'm going to make my sauce. And I like to make the sauce separately and stir it all up, then put it on at the end. Okay, start with mayonnaise. Now, I love Dukes, and there's really no measuring. I'm just going to show you all how I do it, but this is the kind of thing you do it the way you like it, and you taste as you go. I just do, for that size, about like that, and then maybe a little bit smaller one, so it's about three-fourths of a cup. Okay, and you can always go back and add more. Then I add just a little yellow mustard. This adds some sharpness, okay, not much at all. Then I add just a little bit of honey mustard, okay, so you can see about how much I use there, okay. Then I add Wickles Relish. You can use any relish. You can use dill relish or sweet relish. Wickles, in my opinion, is the perfect mixture of both. It's sweet and tangy and spicy, so you're getting everything in one. I love, love, love Wickles. Okay, and I do about two heaping tablespoons of that. Okay, all right, so I've got that. And then I have got my cucumber. I just chopped up about two ribs of cucumber. Sorry, celery, not cucumber. <laughs> this just adds crunch and freshness. Okay, so see when you mix it like this, all the flavors will be blended and they'll just be more even, okay? And I do like to mix this up before I add. See, I'm mixing up the egg and the tuna. 
So you have the dark and the light all blended and the egg is all throughout. And here we go. Just gonna add the sauce. But then you've got it and you just stir. This will keep four days. It might keep longer, but I think four days is the max. But I will tell you this doesn't last longer than four days. It usually doesn't last more than two. Now I just want you to see what it looks like. See, I think that's perfectly uh, seasoned. And then I top it off with a little more lemon pepper. It's really hard to over season, in my opinion, with lemon pepper. So I have it like this. Give it one more little stir. We love this. It's great on sandwiches. It, I love it with Simple Mills almond crackers with sea salt. Some people love it with Triscuit. But anyway, y'all, I hope you'll give it a try. And I so appreciate your watching, and you have a fabulous day.